Welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to the showcase series which is for March 2015 number 34 so we got DVDs to go through, Doctor Who big finishes, non Doctor Who big finishes, books and of course that big finish box from the day of the Doctors and it's been my birthday as well so yeah this is going to be a very big one. So with no further ado let's just begin straight away. So for the DVDs as you know I am trying to complete the fifth Doctor to get part five of the DVD collection out. So the first DVD it is for to Doomsday which is in fact Peter Davison's first Doctor Who story he actually recorded not Cash Revolver. I actually have watched this story but I'm not going to state my review on it because of course that's for a review video but uh, people don't really care about this one too much even Peter Davison doesn't care about the story himself but uh, well I'm just not going to say anything about it. So that's for the Doomsday and for the next DVD is uh, The Visitation and this is the special edition of it. Glad it doesn't say special edition on the side I hate that but people say it's a very good story and I'm quite intrigued by it. Next are the big finishes, and this is starting with the monthly range for Doctor Who. The first one is quite an early one, which is The Gathering, which is the last story for the Cyberman series featuring The Harvest, The Reaping, and The Gathering. This one's written by Joseph Lidster, who I believe wrote in The Reaping, which is praised to be the best one from the trilogy. I'm also looking forward to this one. I've heard it's uh, good, not the best out of the three, but I heard people say it's good enough, and... Uh, the introduction of Tegan into Big Finish, that's going to be quite interesting, even though I'm not a big fan of Tegan. Yes, that is uh, The Gathering. Next one, The Magic Mousetrap, which uh, which I believe it starts this black and white TARDIS story arc. And yeah, I've heard just spot on things about this. Some people say it's one of the, it is the best Seventh Doctor story ever, which will be uh, very good. I like the spine as well, I love the red on it. I don't want to say what enemies in this story, I know it. Others may not know it, but I'm just going to keep it quiet. It's The Magic Mousetrap by Matthew Sweet. The next one is the release that follows on from that. 121, which is Enemy of the Daleks by David Bishop. Really looking forward to this one. That's going to be a really good one. With the Seventh Doctor and the Daleks. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. David Bishop hasn't written a lot of a big finish. I think this is only one. He might have written another one, I don't know. But he's very good on the BBC book line. So let's see if he's good in Big Finish. People say it's a cracker. Next one is one of the early ones which I need to listen to and review it because I still have not released the review of it. It is uh, Equilibrium by Matt Fitton. Yes, at the start I wasn't really looking too forward to this, but reviews have been saying it's better than you expect it to be. It's actually quite of a gem from Matt Fitton. So I'm going to look forward to it and I hope it's better than missed for. I'm... By the reviews, it does sound like it is better than this for. Maybe it might be my favourite from eSpace, even though I was thinking it was going to be my least favourite, but don't judge a book by its cover. And the next one is the most recent one on the eSpace trilogy and for the monthly range. It is the Entropy Plague. Yes, I'm really looking forward to uh, Jonathan Morris's story. Now with the fourth Doctor Adventures, we have the Wrath of the Iceni, which is one from season one, which is by John Dorn. I haven't seen any reviews on it, to be honest, so I can't state it, but that's a good thing, because I'm going to go into this without knowing what I'm going to be expecting, like a bit good story or a bad story. Next one, another fourth Doctor adventure, Energy of the Daleks by Nicholas Briggs. I heard people like this story a lot from season one, season one the Tom Baker adventure, so yeah, it's really intriguing me. Now another one which I have released my review on is The Darkness of Glass, so I can't state on it. I definitely insist you get it. Loads of people praise the story to be something fantastic. Others state that it's average, but don't listen to any of that. It's a perfect, perfect story. Almost getting a 10 out of 10, but I gave it a 9. It's just a shame it didn't get expanded on, because it would have been something terrific. And next one is the most recent from the Tom Baker Adventures. Requiem for the Rocketman by John Dorney. I won't say anything about this one, but the Rocketmen seem like 80s sort of monsters they do. The Master is in this story as well, so yes, cannot wait for it. Now for an 8th Doctor adventure, which I've shown loads of times. It is Dark Eyes 4 with A Life of the Day, Monster of Malmata, the underrated Monster of Malmata. Master of the Daleks, the perfection story it is, I love that one. Probably one of my favourite stories out of the whole series. And the Eye of Darkness, which uh underwhelming ending. Not what I was 
you know, expecting it to be. You know, I wanted really, I wanted a lot of Eminence action, but yes, that is Dark Eyes Four. Dark Shadows again. I'm diving in the range a lot more. I've got quite a few Dark Shadows releases now. I'm definitely going to be expanding. And the first one is actually the first Dark Shadows, which actually got released on the range, which formed the forecast audio drama range, which is the House of Despair. And the first ones are called the House of Despair, the Book of Temptation, the Christmas Presents, and the Rage Beneath. And I've heard the first one and the fourth one are very good, but the the ones in between aren't so good. But I've heard this one's a cracker. I'm going to get them, probably all of those, I've just said. And give them a shot but this one just sounds really good for the first one it sounds uh, very good and for the next one it is a James Goss story I believe it is yes it is it is the house by the sea featuring Colin Baker I've heard it's just absolutely incredible and definitely a nighttime sort of story to listen to this for really late at night yeah I really really want to listen to that one and another Dark Shadows it is the Dreaming of Water, this one sounds incredible and really intrigued me. These two go into a car journey I believe and they see the local abandoned asylum and something happens, I haven't listened to the story but something happens and now he finds himself a patient in the asylum. Yeah, it's going to be intriguing, definitely. It sounds like, it sounds the most intriguing for me that one. And I've also got another non-Doctor Who release. Which is, I've been, actually I'm a really big fan of the TV series of this. And quite some suspenseful s scenes happen in the actual series. And I heard the audio is much more with that. As it is Terry Nation's Survivors, which is series one. I'm definitely really looking forward to giving this one a shot. Especially on the audio. And you can see it contains adult material which is unsuitable. Yes, I've heard of some very suspenseful stuff in this and quite shocking moments and very dark and gritty. And I do like that sort of stuff, really. And I can definitely confirm that this is going to be the first video review on the new channel, which is a review of Survivors Series 1. So, yes, I've confirmed the first video for the new channel. So definitely stay tuned for the review of Survivors. So yeah, they were all the big finishes. Well, I haven't done the big finished box yet. But I can just show you a books which I got. I only got the one, which is The Feast of the Drowned, which I found in a charity shop for 50 pence. So yeah, why not? It's by Stephen Cole, which I've heard that actually this story isn't very good. I think I just got it for collection's sake, really, because it's 50p, because why not? So yeah, Feast of the Drowned. Now we can do opening the big finish box. So let's get cracking straight away, shall we? So what I got at Day of the Doctors is The Trial of the White Worm by Alan Barnes, which is episode 5 from season 1. And of course, I cannot have it without the Asylum Adventure, if I said that word correctly. And so I've almost got the other Tom Baker Adventures. So yeah, I think Lost Stories will be next. So yes, that is Trial of the White Worm and the Asylum Adventure, that two-parter. Because of course, you can't get this without this. The next one, it is the fourth Doctor Lost Stories box set featuring the Fove in the Future and the Valley of Death, which is a, a very big box set. It's a five disc box set. And for the next release, it is, well, I'm really looking forward to this because I love the book. It's just absolutely fantastic. It is a novel adaptions release or beneath some of your release. It is Love and War. Lisa Bowman actually signed it for me, so yeah, that's uh, very nice of her. As I said, the book is just absolutely brilliant. And for the final release, it is Jago and Lightfoot Series 1. And I cannot wait to give it a listen. So yeah, that's Jago and Lightfoot Series 1. So, thank you very much for watching the Showcase Series. For March 2015, got loads of big finish audios right by here. Of course, the big finish box with all those goodies in as well. Two DVDs and these two whopping guys right by here. Dark Eyes 4 awesome. and Survivors, which is going to be the first video on the new channel for that review, which I cannot wait to finally listen to, which will be tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching this installment, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.